My name is Frances Morris and I'm the director of Tate Modern and I'm delighted to be here at the National Museum of Women in, Art, in the Arts in Washington. Um, it's a really important place. The focus on women's art and women allows us to have a really safe place to talk about some challenging ideas. So the history of art that you find in most museums of modern and contemporary art in North America and Western Europe is art that was built on a kind of 18th century academic model. And of course, you know, art is no different from the rest of society. So women and diverse communities were excluded from that history. But when you look around today, both in our countries and across the world, Art is being made in multiple centres of creativity by a hugely diverse community. Um, we want museums to reflect that diversity in the histories they tell. So there is a challenge, is how do you make the, the stories you tell in your museum relevant to this wonderfully diverse, creative, contemporary community? One of the things I think we're beginning to realise now is actually through the course of the 20th century and never more than today, great art is fuelled by conversations between people and people with diverse positions. So between people but also types of practice. So what's really interesting today is the way that it's very few artists are just making painting or just making sculpture. They're making music, they're making film, they're making video, they're doing live art and performance. And those borders that you traditionally see between media and museums, painting one area, sculpture another, are absolutely disappearing across the world. And artists through social media, through the internet, through travel, are absolutely networked globally. And that's making for a very, very exciting cultural scene. Artists are a very good barometer for what's going on in the world. They're absolutely connected. So the way artists are responding both to political, social and economic events, but also to new technologies is very interesting. Gives you a sense of where we're going in the world. One of the things that um, I've discovered in talking with young people, but also reflecting on my own history, is that you cannot be what you can't see. So if there aren't women in positions of power, and if there aren't people of colour in positions of responsibility, young people are not going to find the role models and mentors they need. I think it's crucial that people like me now to make sure that we can be role models, we can nurture, we can encourage, we can open up opportunities for young people to follow in our wake. Mm -hmm.